What up, Bucks fans? This is Michael Plus back with Real Bucks Talk. And obviously, you guys know what we're going to talk about today, and that is the news that Tom Brady broke this morning. He is retired, and it looks like it is officially for good this time. Uh, it looks, I mean, he obviously everyone's seen the video that he posted to his Instagram, and it was very heartfelt. It was, I think, the final goodbye, and obviously, he's ready to start his new chapter. Um, as you see there on the screen, Buccaneers, thank you, Tom. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been a while, three years, and, you know, to get a championship out of it and obviously a couple of good seasons as well. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been pretty awesome to watch Tom Brady play live in, in Raymond James Stadium and just what he's brought to this team and this community uh, really has changed the culture brought us back to winning and just to be a part of that and help this team get over the top and obviously win a championship but also win have you know division title uh, a winning season in you know both all three years and and really help us you know get back on the map and put us on the map and make us relevant and you know i wish i wish tom the best i and this is something that, you know, we've talked about. Uh, it was either coming back to the Bucks or it was going to be retirement. And I think, you know, at age 45, he's accomplished so much. I mean, let's look at the numbers here. You see the tweet by NFL. I mean, 23 seasons of just greatness and probably won't ever be matched by anyone else. Seven-time Super Bowl champion, five-time Super Bowl MVP, three-time league MVP, Almost 83,000 yards passing in the regular season. That's first all time. 649 touchdowns. Again, first 13, over 13,000 passing yards in the playoffs. First 88 playoff touchdowns. Again, number one. So, yeah, I mean, it's awesome. And for him to finish his career in Tampa, it makes it even better. And just all the people that he has affected in a positive way just so shows like how good of a person he is good of a player he was um and obviously I, I think the league will will miss him uh but you know we'll see what the future holds if he's going to go into fox or or what have you but congrats tom very happy for you it's well deserved and thank you for everything you've done for the tampa bay area and obviously bringing a championship and bringing us back to winning ways and um Let's take a look at, and Jeff Darlington, you know, he's been on it all, all the time with Tom Brady, very close to him as far as being correct with his sourcing. Tom Brady informed Bucks today at 6 a.m. He would be retiring. One aspect I had been mentioning for a bit now, Brady for months implied to many close to him that it was going to be either a return to Tampa or retirement. Tough for many to believe, including those close, but he meant it. And yeah, I mean, that's, you know, I think that was just logical. I mean, a lot of people have talked about this and said it was either bucks or retirement. And, you know, when you think about it, yeah, that made the most sense. He'd be close to his kids still uh, and still in a very good situation here with Tampa. And, you know, after 45, you know, at 45 years old, going on age 46, he, you know, he felt he was he was ready to, you know, move on and, and go into that that next chapter and you know it was it was a long year last year uh, especially for him uh, personally and then you know just on the team itself it was an up and down year so and I think Jeff mentioned that he was just mentally exhausted and he gave everything gave us everything and that's why we're so thankful and man it was just it was a fun ride and and now as Buccaneers fans and, and you know Buccaneers look to the future. Now we know what direction we have. And I think this is very good for the Bucks because you have that domino, first domino fall off the board. And now you can really focus in on what you have to get done. And obviously that's finding an offensive coordinator and then, you know, filling out the rest of the staff, getting everything in line there, and then really putting a plan of attack into this offseason with free agency and the draft. And obviously finding a quarterback too, you know, that's going to be 
uh, the big key, whether that's in free agency or maybe they draft a quarterback. Uh, we do know that there will be additions in that room because Kyle Trask is the only quarterback on the roster as of now. So um, once again, big thanks to to Tom Brady. It was an awesome ride and man, can't wait to to see what's next for him. And, and obviously I'm very excited to see where this Buccaneers team goes. Uh, so love to hear from you guys. Uh, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below what you th think of Tom Brady retiring uh, and let us know where do you see this Buccaneers team going forward? Who do you want at quarterback? And as always, appreciate the support. And with that said, until the next one.